Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing the structure of the pancreas. Okay, so we've now discussed the anatomy of the pancreas. Uh, what we now want to discuss is the histology of the pancreas, so we want to look at its uh, structure in more detail. Okay, so, uh, and here what we'll see is both cells that are involved in exocrine secretion, i.e. they're secreting digestive enzymes uh, that will uh, move down the pancreatic ducts and be secreted into the lumen of the duodenum to help with digestion. And we'll also see the endocrine uh, components of the pancreas, uh, i.e. Uh, the cells which are secreting uh, molecules into the bloodstream uh, which will have endocrine effects. Okay, so, uh, let's start by drawing a duct, basically. Okay, so a duct might be coming off the main pancreatic duct that I've drawn here. So this duct that I'm about to draw, it might be, you know, a little branch off this main pancreatic duct. Okay, and then it will have a smaller little tube coming off it, which will be a duct jaw, okay? And I'll just draw the duct jaw splitting into three at the moment and then I'll show you what will be off these little divisions. Okay, so here's the duct jaw, and this is the duct. Okay, right, so this is some duct. Uh, this here is a duct jaw, and I want to show the cells which are lining these, so I'm going to give them a thickness now. Okay, so here we go, here is a thickness, like so. And basically, the cells that are lining the ducts and the ductules of the uh, pancreas uh, are cuboidal epithelial cells, okay? So, I'll split them up because at the moment it's one great big confluent lump, so I'll put some divisions between uh, neighbouring cuboidal epithelial cells. So they're quite tall, they're certainly not squamous epithelial cells, but they're not as tall as columnar epithelial cells. Okay, so they are a cuboid or epithelial cell. Right, and now what we need to discuss is what actually is going to come off uh, this duct jaw, because I've drawn it dividing into three, but I haven't told you what is actually going to come off these uh, divisions. Well, basically, what's going to happen is uh, pancreatic acini are going to come off those. Okay, so let me show you a pancreatic acinus. Okay, so we're going to look at Asini, okay, and the singular for asini is asinus, okay, so the plural is asini. Okay, so let me show you a pancreatic asinus. Okay, so it's a little sort of swelling, and again, it's aligned by uh, epithelial cells, which are again cuboidal, but they're a little bit bigger than the cuboidal epithelial cells that were lining the ductules and the ducts, uh, because these ones are actually going to be secreting stuff, and these are the cells which will actually be making the digestive enzymes, well, the precursors to the digestive enzymes, because you don't want them being activated until they actually get into the uh, duodenum, so they'll be thymogens, which means uh, the inactive precursor to the enzyme. Okay, and these cells will be secreting these zymogens into the lumen, or, and then they'll be dumping those into ductules, which will then drain into ducts, which will then drain into the main pancreatic duct, which will then drain into the lumen of the duodenum. Okay, so this structure here with these large cuboidal epithelial cells, which are secreting uh, the zymogens into uh, the lumen of this duct system, that, that is a pancreatic acinus, okay? And you're going to have multiple of them all coming off a single ductule. Okay, so let me draw another one here. Okay, and again, it will have these large cuboidal epithelial cells. And they'll be so large because they'll have large stores of the stuff that they're secreting, and they'll have factories for making uh, the zymogens that they're secreting. Okay. Uh, so they are much larger than the cuboidal epithelial cells that line the duct jaws and the ducts. So here we have now drawn four pancreatic acini, which is the plural for acinus. Okay, so this is a pancreatic acinus, uh, these are pancreatic acini, and these cells of the pancreatic acini are involved in the exocrine secretion of the zymogens, uh, which will help uh, with the digestion of uh, proteins and other uh, things such as carbohydrates and lipids. 
Okay, right. Uh, so, that's the exocrine pancreas, but dotted in amongst this huge, great meshwork that is uh, the exocrine pancreas, you have other cell types, okay? So you'll have a little ball of cells here that is just dotted in amongst uh, this uh, portion of exocrine pancreas. And this is what's known as an islet of Langerhans. So islet means island, and then Langerhans is who discovered them. So basically these are little islands in amongst all of the uh, exocrine pancreatic uh, cells. Uh, and these are going to be the endocrine pancreas. So the islets of Langerhans are just con just consist of a huge number of cells all together, okay? And they will be secreting their products into uh, blood vessels, basically. Okay, so we you will have blood vessels in here as well, uh, but I'm not showing those. I'm just showing you the cells. Okay, and there are three main types of cells within the islets of Langerhans. So let's go through these. So I'm going to colour them in different colours. So let's have the first type of cell in turquoise. And turquoise is going to represent the alpha cells of the islets of Langerhans. So let's have these representing the alpha cells. And the product of the alpha cells of the islets of Langerhans is a protein, and that protein is called uh, glucagon. So these make glucagon. At least glucagon is their main uh, product. Okay, uh, which is going to be very important in the homeostasis of uh, glu blood glucose level. Okay, we'll then talk about the next type of cell. And I should just underline alpha cell in turquoise, since we're assuming that the turquoise cells are the alpha cells. Okay, and the next type of cell we'll have is in orange. And orange is going to represent the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans. So these, of all the cells of the islets of Langerhans, these are the most famous because these secrete the most important hormone as far as control of blood glucose is concerned. They secrete the hormone insulin, which is a very famous hormone. Okay, so this is the hormone that's all tied up in type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Okay, so there are the beta cells. Now, there is one final type of cell that's in the islets of Langerhans. Well, uh, one of the final major types of cell. Of course, there will be other cell types in there as well. But one of the major important, as far as endocrinology is concerned, uh, cells uh, is what is known as a delta cell. So there are also delta cells, and I've colored these in pink. Okay, so these are delta cells. And their main product is somatostatin. Okay, so don't forget the um, delta cells. You have overall three cell types uh, that are involved in the endocrine pancreatic function. Alpha cells, beta cells, and delta cells, which are all in the islets of Langerhans. And you have these islets of Langerhans dotted amongst the exocrine structures, which we have shown here. Okay, so that now concludes our discussion of the uh, structure of the pancreas.